hair. Because <laughs> you got the hair too red. Turns out I've been doing it all wrong. And you're fully nude. I'm pretty sure she knows me better than my wax lady at this point. Hey Travel Bays, you've heard of glass skin, but have you heard of glass body? Let's get into it. Welcome to episode eight of Your Best Travel Life. This is the second part in a series dedicated to the fun things to do, see, and places to be in Atlanta. And also, as this vlog details, unique experiences that you might not even think of when you think of Atlanta. We all know the Koreans have the skincare game on lock and I enjoy my spa experiences abroad and I started to seek stuff like that when I'm back home in the States. So I was all about it when my friend mentioned that there is a Korean bathhouse that gives traditional treatments right here in my city. So if you two are deep in your self-care routine and want a little something special when you visit Atlanta. This is the vlog for you. I'm talking about a very unique experience that you can have here in Atlanta. Then you definitely tune in and make sure that you watch to the end because I'll talk about the do's and the don'ts of this experience and the mistakes that I made in child you know, yeah. I don't get cute. This vlog is split into two parts. The first part is me vlogging my experience at Jeju Sauna and Wellness Spa. It is a traditional Korean bath bathhouse in Duluth, which is 30 minutes outside of Atlanta. The second part will be the mistakes that I made and the things that you can do if you choose to have this experience that'll make it even better for you. Yeah. The before. The before. When's the last time you've been here? Mm, way before the pandemic. Okay. You want to be a part of the vlog? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm excited for all the things. I'm ready to be scrubbed down, rubbed down, the whole shebang. The whole, the whole nine. <laughs> You don't need reservations to visit Jeju. It's first come, first serve. They will give you a key in exchange for your ID, and that key and number will be the way that you scan the services and basically run up your tab <laughs> during your stay. As soon as you enter, there are lockers for you to take off your shoes. You must take off your shoes in order to enter the facility. shoes down and I'm putting my clothes down to change into my outfit. Not sure what to do after that. So my friend is asking for directions, but I'm really excited for this experience. I think so the first thing I want to do is the body scrub. So you soak in baths or pools first, then I'll do the body scrub reflexology yeah, after that. No, you're fine. Um, strip and go to the pool area, which I think is where they do the shampooing. Okay. So they're going to shampoo us now? All right. Let's get naked. We get naked here? Yes. Yes, as you heard, me and every guest in this facility is completely nude at some point. So obviously I could not film, but I just left the wet room and that's where I got my body scrub and other treatments in the dry sauna, the infrared sauna, and the jacuzzis and cold plunge. Makes no 
no sense. I know crazy. Give up all this pussy cat that's in my lap. No looking back. Spaceships don't come equipped with rear view mirrors. They dip as quick as they can. The atmosphere is now ripped. I'm so like a pimp. I'm glad it's night. So the light from the sun would not burn me on my bum when I shoot the moon. High jump the broom like a preemie out the womb. My partner yelling too soon. You like kimchi? 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 Get in. This is the beef bulgogi and these are the side dishes. Yeah. You okay. know my kimchi? I can't say kimchi. Where is it? That one. Uh, right here? What mm -hmm. is kimchi? It's like fermented cabbage. cabbage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And not with bacon. I just wanted to make sure before. I like cabbage. Before right. How they do it. Uh, I seem like that lady kept oh, in the spot. Or bulgogi. I don't eat beef. That mindset. It just, it, 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 right. Because like, it's why like, why? Red meat? Right. Exactly. <laughs> I stopped eating red meat at college. This is good. Mm -hmm. I see why people come here and spend the night. Mm -hmm. I'm glad their food quality didn't go down. Because mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> I didn't want to get that guy in the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she definitely put. Oh, yeah, she's like, I put in some yogurt. <laughs> why would you keep just experimenting? That's one. <laughs> <laughs> like random ingredients. And it's not even that cold. <laughs> Um, water bottle, water bottle. Definitely. Yeah. What else would you bring? Water bottle, socks, definitely. Yeah, socks, water bottle. I'm glad I brought this, even though it was something that I didn't bring for this purpose, but I brought a plastic bag, and that's what my swimsuit is in. That's mine. Mm. Mm. It keeps getting that guy in the background. Come to the office to get their ears on. I was like, I don't know how true this is. It was at this exact moment that I realized I definitely have my grandma's hairline, which is so crazy. What do I get the more I feel like I'm looking like that side? Mm -hmm. like my grandma used to have these moles here, and she, and I'm get growing them. Really? Mm -hmm. Your mom has them too, right? I don't know. I don't know. I had the moles. Really? I could be like fabricating this. Fabricating it, <laughs> but I feel like she had the moles. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> you look like her. You have the same shape head too. Which As is my grandma? Yeah. Do you remember my grandma? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. That's crazy. Cause I was over here thinking, what do you remind me of with this hair? <laughs> Cause you got the hair too right now. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> So Josephine Simmons, this one for you. <laughs> <laughs>
which right now as at the time of recording this is $40. And then you have full access to this facility. There's a gym, there's a place to do your nails. There are of course like showers, places to freshen up and also use the restroom. And there is a full service restaurant. So you get lunch, you should get dinner. I also saw people bringing in like their own lunches and beverages. So show world girl. The caveats, the things that I would do differently. I would definitely switch the order of everything that I did. I started with my scrub and my massage. And what I would do is actually do that last and let that be the very last thing that I do before I go home. Just so everything that they did, I'm not now washing off repeatedly because it is a bathhouse. And before your different experiences, you are going to be showering. <laughs> so I ended up like washing off the oil that they used to massage me and um, just all these different things. And I was also going in and out of like hot and cold environments, which also does different things to your skin. So yeah, I definitely would have done my massage last. And then skills in personal. So I've done plenty of spas, but this is my first time doing a Korean bathhouse and <laughs> mind-blowing so when my friend was telling me about it one of the things that she described was the body scrub so i looked on the website and they talked about yeah you know they offer body scrubs and everything you're going to soak before you go get the scrub so i'm thinking it's going to be exfoliating body scrub that is made from some material like sugar or some type of crystallized thing <laughs> no so they actually have these mitts that they put on their hands and scrub you down. Like she scrubbed me from the Ruta to the Tuta. I'm not even exaggerating. Like I don't even think my wax lady knows me that well. One of the things that I will say is speak up because when she first started scrubbing me, it hurt. Like it, it felt very coarse and there was a bit of a language barrier, but I said like, hey, you know, that, that hurts. And then she was like, okay and then switch the mitts. So it turns out that there are different grades of coarseness to these exfoliating rags. And so funny enough, I actually use these and I didn't even realize what they were really for and I clearly am not using them right. So um, I got this off Amazon <laughs> and when I looked at it after the fact, it actually says made in Korea, which makes sense because it's a very Korean thing that happens in the bathhouse. They'll scrub you down. So they come in different colors. They'll have different, as I said, textures and coarseness. I've been using these um, whenever I go on beach vacations. I feel like sand gets everywhere, but also it kind of helps to lift some dead skin. So I just help it along my elbows or like my, um, my heels, like things like that. And I'll just scrub um, those areas. Sometimes I'll scrub my whole body depending on what type of vacation it was. But turns out I was hopping in the shower and scrubbing when I really, I really, should have been soaking first because you need to open up your pores and you soak for at least 20 minutes and then get scrubbed down. So when I got up off the table, baby soft, like the day I came out of my mom's womb soft, it was like so soft and it had a nice shine to it even before I used the Necessaire serum and body lotion. Speaking of which, I really enjoy the Necessaire products and will maybe do that as a combo. So like get a full body scrub and use a necessary serum. So I got to use the serum and the body wash, which the body wash had eucalyptus. The serum and the lotion have like shea butter, jojoba, aloe vera, a lot of great things in it. But putting it on made a difference. Like usually I use lotion um, depending on what I'm doing or where I'm going. I might use body butters. But this serum, it was hydrating without being heavy or greasy. And it also had a nice shine and this nice slip to it. It felt like very... Baby, that's a winning combination. I'm definitely going to make this a part of my normal self-care maintenance routine. The other thing I would do differently is the order of the services. In this order, I would... Hot sauna, a couple of hot saunas, so probably the salt one because that 
toxins out. Then I would do either the charcoal or the jewel one, which are still hot, but a lower temperature. You're not like instantly sweating and um, you could stay in there a little bit longer. So probably do like 20 minutes to detoxify. I would get some water. I would definitely bring a bottle of water with me. They have water stations where you could get water, but they're like these little cups <laughs> or they had vending machines where you could buy bottles, but the bottles look like they have been there a while. So I would definitely bring my own bottle of water so that I could stay well hydrated and shower and go in the pool. So I mean, it was nice that they had, they have like a pretty decent sized pool. It was a great experience. It's a heated pool and it's pretty big if you like to swim laps. Um, I'm not that strong of a swimmer, but I do like to float on my back and pretend a little. So after that, I would then do reflexology. Now they do massages and it's probably where I got the massage, but my reflexology massage was so much better than my actual full body massage. So I would do the reflexology, which is basically them massaging and pushing and activating different pressure points in your feet, which then have effects on different parts of your body. So like for instance, when I got my reflexology, I had a little bit of indigestion and that cleared up as he was like working on my feet. But also they massaged my legs, like my quads, my calves and everything. And it was great because I was pretty sore from a workout. By the time I was done with reflexology, I felt great. <laughs> felt even more flexible like they worked out my my kinks in my legs and then also like hit the right pressure points in my feet I felt great I even fell asleep a couple of times and woke up to myself like snoring it was a little embarrassing but hey that, I was getting my money's worth and then um, after reflexology I would then go and do lunch have lunch. The food was pretty good. I got chicken teriyaki um, and the portions were great as well. Now they do have fresh juices. I will forewarn you, the juices are not fresh pressed. When I asked the lady that was making them, they put yogurt and Hawaiian punch in them. Yeah, you heard me, Hawaiian punch. And so I was like, which one doesn't have Hawaiian punch? And the carrot was the only one that didn't. So I got the carrot juice and it did taste like fresh carrot, but you could also taste the yogurt. So I probably would not get that again. But um, other than that, the food was pretty good. And then after lunch is when I would go get my treatment. So the scrubbing that they do <laughs> was intense, but intense in a good way. Like you have it done in a wet room. So you shower first and then after your shower, you're going to soak in, um, you can either soak in jacuzzi or you can soak in one of the heated pools and then you get your scrub. Basically they want your pores to be open so that all of the different impurities and the dead skin cells could be softened so they could slosh it off of you. But even before I put on the necessary serum and lotion, it had like this softness and this shine to it. It, it, it was beautiful. I would absolutely do it again. Then one of the experiences that I liked was in the bathhouse, so in the wet room, you get to bathe in a more traditional way. Have proper showers where you stand up and you could bring your own toiletries if you choose. They have toiletries there that you could use. But then they have like this area where it's stalls and you're kind of in front of a mirror and you're seated and there's like a handheld shower over you that sprays water while you're bathing. And then you could do your skincare because you could actually see yourself instead of in the shower when you can't really see yourself. Um, they have this experience on top of the scrub where if you want, they'll do a facial and they make their own cucumber compound there at Jeju. So you could get a traditional um, cucumber Korean facial and they'll wash your hair. Like they will wash, scrub, exfoliate your scalp. They'll exfoliate your, um, the skin on your face. You could get the full shebang. I would definitely go back there. I would definitely recommend it. It is one of those things where when you think of Atlanta, you wouldn't think of, oh yeah, there's a Korean bathhouse here, a traditional Korean bathhouse where you could have this type of experience. And the fact that it took me less than 30 minutes to get there, which means you could easily do it on a trip here if you're coming to Atlanta, is it's just amazing. I'm just grateful that I was exposed to this. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Steph. This channel is dedicated to fun travel experiences, travel tips, travel hacks, 
and Travel Inspo. I bring you the fresh travel tea every Monday at 7 p.m. If you found this vlog helpful or entertaining, please give me a like and comment down below your favorite part of the experience. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you so much for supporting the channel and subscribing. I'm happy to do topics you all might be interested in. So if there's something you would like to see on this channel, please comment down below. If you enjoy the content and want to connect and have a deeper conversation, follow me on Instagram. Okay, until next time, child babes. Bye.